So it's now two o'clock. We picked um, our little puppy up at 10 o'clock this morning. So the day has just flown by. Um, I haven't done any work yet, but I didn't think I would to be honest. So our little puppy is currently asleep. Oh, he's just woken up. <laughs> Hello. But our little puppy is called Bernie and he's a little Shizu. Um, but yeah, he is the calmest puppy ever. I mean, I know I'm saying that now, it's been a day. Um, but yeah, we've literally had like the nicest morning. He fell asleep in the car on the way home. It was only about a 20 minute drive. So it wasn't like he was in the car for ages, but we'd been reading all of these books and all of these like YouTube videos about how like puppies can be car sick and like poo in the car and like get upset. So we were really, really nervous about the car drive, but actually he literally just fell asleep, which was amazing. We've got like a little car carrier. He didn't really like it in there. I just wrapped him up in a blanket and popped him in my lap, which you're not really meant to do, but he was kind of getting a bit agitated in his car seat and we were really careful. I had a seatbelt on and all that stuff. We drove really safely. Um, but yeah, we got him home. He went took him in the garden. He didn't do a wee or a poo. Um, and then we played with him for a little while. And then he did do a tiny, tiny, about this much, it was about this size, wee on this little um, carpet that I've put in the kitchen. Um, because at the moment, the kitchen is the only room that we've got tiled in the house. Um, we're gonna do this kitchen up, but this is the perfect time to have a little puppy because we're not precious about this kitchen because we just hate it, to be honest. Um, but yeah, so because it's tiled floor, we're not really worried about him you know, having accidents in here, but it is very slippery for him. He keeps kind of slipping everywhere. So um, this little cut rug is from Dunelm and I'm gonna get a few more of these because they are so good and also you can wash them as well. But yeah, he did a little wee on that. I think it was from excitement because we were playing with him. And um, we just cleaned it up, got my scent buster out and got rid of the scent. So hopefully he won't do that again. But I'm gonna show you him now because he's so cute. He's asleep, he's so cute. So this is little Bernie. He's asleep at the moment. He is actually a little boy, but um, our breeder gave us this little pink um, blanket and he seems to really like this. I think it's a baby blanket and it's nice and small. I've got loads that I bought from Primark that are way too big for him. Um, but yeah, he's just asleep in here. As you can see, we've got quite a few different kind of dens. We're gonna do, call them dens, not crates, because I feel like crate is a bit like weird kind of way to put it, but anyway. We got this one over here, which is more of like a playpen because our breeder had this, but she also had four puppies in there. And when I read online and got some advice from some other bloggers that have got puppies, they said that what will happen is if it, the crate's too big, they'll basically sleep in here, poo over here, and then go back to sleep. We don't want that to happen. Also, this bed is way too big for him. All the things you buy that are too big. So we're gonna save this for like a, I guess kind of like, look at the mess. There's so much mess. <laughs> But we're gonna save that for like a kind of playpen during the day. So then we have this little crate here, which as you can see is his sleeping crate. And this was from Amazon. It's the smallest size. I think it was like 22 inches or something. When it turned up, I thought it was gonna be way too small. Definitely not going to be. And it comes with this divider. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it, but it's got a divider here, which is basically kind of cut it in half because again, this would be too big. He'd just sleep here and then he'd go over the back and poo. And again, we're trying to train him to poo outside only, so we don't want that to happen. And online it said that you had to put loads of treats in there, like encourage them to go in. Literally, all I had to do was just put this little teddy in and just give it a little squeeze and he went in. And then he just went in and slept. So I think because it is at the breeders, he's been sleeping in one of these, he was completely used to it. So yeah, that little toy there is a little teddy from Pets at Home, I think. And then this is from Amazon and it's a little like, it, I don't know, like a little wheat bag and you heat it up in the microwave for puppies. I've also got this over here which is plugged in and this is like a heat pad. Um, I just wanted to test that it worked because it is really, really cold in the UK right now and I think at night time it might get really cold for him. So I'm testing that and seeing if he likes it. I, I'm so got, I got so much stuff guys, honestly. I also got this little doggy bed. Um, we haven't put this out yet because I don't want to confuse him. But this was literally like £10 on Amazon or something. Amazon is so great for puppy stuff. So the puppy goes in there. It's really soft and snuggly. And I thought this would be great for like my office space because I work from home. So I think that he's obviously going to be around upstairs. Um, quickly, we have a little basket down there full of little toys. 
Um, online, everything that I read said to just get a selection of toys. So we have things like this, which are kind of squeaky and chewable. I won't squeak it because it'll wake him up. And then we have things like this. This is kind of noisy. I mean, he's asleep. What do I do when he's asleep? Just like watch him or do I go and do some work? I mean, he hasn't been for a poo after he ate. Well, he does need to go out to the toilet as soon as he wakes up. So I'm just going to keep an eye on him. See what happens. And yeah, I'll update you, I guess, when he does something. And for those of you that watch my videos and are a little bit concerned about Vincy, she is very happy. Although she still hates this camera. You're okay, aren't you? She's just a little bit confused. Although we did bring Bernie in here and kind of introduce them. And um, they were really happy. They really liked each other. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to cut the tags off my new <laughs> Matalan cheapy Ugg boots because I thought these would be great for going out in the garden when it's a bit cold. Oh, he's woken up. <laughs> so he's awake now. <laughs> he's just following me around. We just went outside, but no number twos yet. But he's just, I think he thinks outside is playtime. So, brought him back in and then we'll go back out in a minute. Look at his little run. <laughs> You're playing, aren't you? He's playing. Look, what's this? Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. Look up. Look up. Oh, <laughs> he's so cute. He's really like, wants to play. He's had like a power nap, I think. No biting. croaky tired voice <laughs> hey guys so yesterday went a little bit quick I can't believe how fast the day just disappeared before I knew it it was like nine o'clock and I was still sat in the kitchen <laughs> playing with Bernie um but yeah yesterday as a first day I actually think went really really well now, Bernie was amazing which we feel so like I mean it's been one night I'm sure it won't be like that every night but um he went in his crate kind of late evening about nine o'clock and we kind of said because he was in there and he seemed really really happy we weren't in the kitchen then we went into the living room and actually sat on a sofa my back today is so sore from sitting on the kitchen floor all day age old age we left him in the crate and kind of snuck upstairs he whimpered a little bit and then he kind of settled himself really really quickly which was amazing and then during the night he just barked a few times and that was when he needed pee so he barked i came downstairs i put him outside he peed i gave him a bit of a love and a bit of attention called him a good boy put him back in whimpered a little bit and then settled and did the same thing so i think in total he peed at like 1 a.m and 6 a.m and then I think I, he went back to bed at 6am and then woke up at 8, which I didn't think was going to happen. So, yeah, it was a good night and actually surprisingly better than I thought it was going to be. So, at the moment, so we have actually put just a little chair in the kitchen. Um, like I said before, this kitchen, we want to do it, knock it all down and start again with it. But um, at the moment, we've got no seating in here. So, if we're in here with Bernie then we do have to kind of be sat on cold tiled floor and um, so we've got this little Ikea seat and at the moment he's just sat on my lap I think he's just falling asleep which is nice but also when he was going to fall asleep today is when I was going to do a bit of work the only thing at the moment that I found quite difficult is what to do with him when I do need to nip upstairs and do some emails or I need to kind of do my hair and makeup and stuff like that. Obviously me and Chris can tag team it a little bit and we did put it in, in his like little play den um, with some little treats and he was all right in there until he needed to go outside for a wee. <laughs> Thank you. 
So it's much later now. It's actually three o'clock. Haven't done much vlogging. <laughs> Do you know what? You can't get much done when you've got a puppy. And he kind of fell asleep. We've so we got these rugs from Dunelm. They're really, really good, especially if you've got a kitchen where you're keeping your puppy and it is tiled floor because bending down on the tiled floor for too long does give you poorly knees. Chris actually brought my computer down from my office, um, which was upstairs, and we've got a makeshift dining room in here. You'll have to excuse the state of my house because we're in the middle of decorating and Currently the dining room, which is kind of the last room we're going to do because we're going to knock through from the kitchen, is kind of a bit of a junk room. So <laughs> this is where I'm going to be sitting and doing all my work amongst all of this junk. We've got frames over there, we've got carpets down here, we've got bathroom things here. I can actually sit here and see Bernie through there, even though we've got a little webcam as well, but I can see him through there. So I'm going to keep an eye on him, do some work because I've got some deadlines, believe it or not. Work still has to happen, so yeah. Appearance. It's been quite an afternoon. Um, for some reason, we took Bernie out, did a little pee, came in, did another pee on the little rug in the kitchen, cleared that up, then he kind of played a bit and then did another pee on the rug. So he peed a lot. Um, but yeah, not sure why he did that. Hasn't eaten any of his dinner. Um, all gone for a number two. Um, so now he's just chilling again in his crate, having a little sleep. So this is my time to cook dinner. And um, we took some little Polaroids as well. I've got my Polaroid camera. Um, so we took some Polaroids and I really like having these. I'm gonna make a little album with lots of pictures in. Um, here's Chris and here's me and Bernie. He didn't like the flash. So I tried it without and that just didn't work. So yeah, he's asleep in there now. We've got the little camera watching him. We do take this away when he's out obviously because he'll chew it. Um, and his dinner that he did not eat. Don't know whether to take that away either question that I asked Google. I did want to upload a photo saying about Bernie tonight but I don't know if that's going to happen. I just haven't had time to even think about work. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go and say hello to my little Vinci. Hello Bubba. She's been so abandoned but very very loved. You need some attention don't you? Hey guys, so it's now day three. Day two? What day? Oh my god, I forgot what day it is. Day three, kind of, of having Bernie. And as you can see, I've got my coat on, my jumper, and another jumper underneath because I keep taking him out to see if he needs to poop. Um, <laughs> and he won't. So he's back in his little den now, and I'm just waiting for him to kind of make some sign so I know he needs to go outside. That's probably the hardest thing is knowing when to take them outside because during the night they kind of need it. They just go out, do it, come back in. During the day they kind of think they can go out there and play so it's really, really difficult. I look tired today. I don't know why because it's not that bad. It's just getting up two times in the night really but I think I've been getting up at 6am to take him out and then going back to bed for a couple of hours is actually making me more tired so tomorrow at 6am I'm gonna just get up and do some work so then at least I have some stuff done before he even wakes up so that's the plan but yeah we've had loads of visitors today hence no vlog we've had Chris's parents came our neighbours came to see him as well so it's been quite a hectic day we have had a few peas on the floor in the kitchen even though he's just been taken out um, but yeah he's just down there now so I'm just kind of waiting to take him out again I mean this would if you're going to get a puppy, try to get one in summer because it's freezing outside.
Bernie. I've taken off my makeup, have my cozy jumper on and my tracksuit bottoms, just sitting on the kitchen floor, playing with a carrot. <laughs> Look at him, Bernie. I am, um, sorry, you probably just saw his private parts then. Just gave him a little brush as well. <laughs> Hello, guys. <laughs> Hello. Oh, he's really excited. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Crazy. To see You're you. so crazy. Yeah. <laughs> hey guys, so it's Saturday now. Um we've had Bernie for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, five days. Um looking a little bit worse wear today because Saturday, haven't put any makeup on and that's just how it's gonna go. It's actually really hard in the morning to get ready because it's kind of like quite a busy time for Bernie. So we kind of, we kind of try to tag team it so we can both get ready. But he's just down here chewing on this little bone that I actually put in the freezer and he really likes it. It's kind of like fatiguing, I guess. So I think because it's cold, maybe it numbs his teeth. <laughs> there he is. Yeah, it's this little thing. It's like beef flavoured. He kind of licks it and bites it. This is his favourite blanket. My mum bought him this. Um, and all he's done all day is chew it, pretty much. So, yeah. Look at that little face. As you can see, this is an awful angle. As you can see, we have taken away the rugs because we think maybe Bernie thought that they were rugs for him to pee on in the end having my jumper but yeah we think maybe he was getting a bit confused with like puppy pads we've taken those away we've now got a cold tiled floor but at least if he does pee on this floor or anything else we can see it um because the rugs are brown and to be honest <laughs> bad color when you've got a puppy um so yeah so he hasn't actually had an accident since we took the rugs away so fingers crossed um everything goes okay i keep checking in because he had quite a big lunch and nothing's come out the uh exit hole <laughs> so um i keep watching him um it's actually my first night on my own i'm gonna put this it's a little bit scary i think my mum and dad might pop in anyway um but i'm sure it'll be fine to be honest at night time he's pretty good he just needs wearing out and then he sleeps for most of the time so he should be in bed by eight nine which would be nice because i could catch up onto some tv and not spend my life in the kitchen which is good we've kind of got a bit weird with the crate situation now we call them dens because dens a nicer word than crate um but he's got this big one which we've been letting him like play in but today he fell asleep in there so i'm hoping he still wants to sleep i thought he was doing something then um but yeah i hope he still wants to sleep in this one at night time because we 100 percent know that at night time he will let us know if he needs to come out for a wee whereas i'm not sure he will in this one because it's quite big as you can see though oh he is desperate to get in there, and if I put this blanket in there, he absolutely loves it. But yeah, he's such a little cutie pie. I feel like in my first video, my first diary entry, um, I was quite confident that it wouldn't be that difficult, and it's not difficult, it's just time consuming, and if I had no work to do, and I didn't have to wash my hair or shave my legs and things like that, then it wouldn't actually be that difficult, but um, it is time consuming. And we both work from home, so we both feel incredibly guilty when we're not doing any work. Anyway, we've had him five days, so I think there's no need to like rush into stuff, but um, it's just kind of gauging when, oh, when he needs to do his business. That's what we're kind of getting at at the moment. One thing at a time, Chris taught him how to sit, which was good. Um, so yeah. Now I'm going to go and watch him like a hawk and play with a turkey because we bought him a stuffed toy Christmas dinner. <laughs> There's a potato somewhere but that's gone. Bernie! 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 Sit! Sit! Bernie, sit! Sit! What do you want? What do you want? Hey, so I am just editing my 
puppy vlog and I realized I didn't actually finish the vlog so I thought I would do a little outro um it's Sunday at the moment I have no makeup on and my hair's a little bit greasy but who cares um <laughs> so yeah so we've had quite an eventful few days with Bernie um I finished the vlog when things were okay um basically bernie's been really really unwell bless him he had a really upset stomach which can be normal for puppies because obviously you're changing environment and stuff like that um so yeah he's had a really upset tummy um we had a really bad vet experience as well we took him to vets for pets which is part of pets at home we took him there because we were recommended to go there because they're open weekends which really looking back now isn't really a big deal for us because we work we don't work weeks anyway we work at home we took him there and had his vaccinations his first lot of vaccinations and then when we got him home he was really yelping in pain and whenever we picked him up or stroked him so me and Chris actually had to go and have a meeting in the evening so my parents kindly took Bernie back to the vets and they gave him a really really strong painkiller they gave him a painkiller and he literally screamed the place down and one of the i don't think it was the vet that was seeing him but a man vet was basically shouting at bernie he was like really aggressive instead of giving bernie a bit of love because they take him out of the room to give him this injection instead of giving him a little bit of love and a bit of comfort he literally shouted at him and i'm absolutely livid um so i will be complaining to them um yeah that and that injection, that painkiller, literally knocked him out. I've never seen a dog or a puppy so distressed and disorientated and it literally broke our hearts. Like, I have never cried so much in my life. Um, so yeah, he was really, really unwell. That kind of relaxed his whole body. He had really upset tummy still. And then about 2 a.m. that night, there was blood in his um in his poos which wasn't very nice so we took him into an emergency vet um and they kind of helped sort him out give him some food that would help him his tummy cut a long story short it's now almost two weeks since we've had bernie and he had poo in his wee so we went back to the nice vets and they well we actually went back to the bad vets because they were the only ones open on the weekend and they literally didn't help at all and bernie was peeing every five minutes which he pees like once an hour so every five minutes was just i mean it was out of control went to the nice vets today they kindly fitted us in and he has a little infection now why the other pets for vets whatever they're called didn't pick this up yesterday i have no idea i've lost all faith in them and i will never ever be setting foot in their vet or in their shop ever again so he is unwell basically we're going to keep him inside now we were told that we could take him in the garden to wee and poo but until he's had his another until he's had his second lot of vaccinations we don't even want to risk it so he's inside we've got loads of puppy pads down we left him in the night to just be able to come out of his den and pee when he wanted because he was peeing so often i didn't want him to get distressed in his little den um and he was fine actually he didn't pee hardly at all so and we slept through the night which was good <laughs> um so yeah so it's been quite traumatic as first time puppy owners it's been a lot um, we've been really worried about him and we knew we just knew something weren't right like Chris just was like we need to get this sorted because pee and, wee, pee and blood is not normal for anyone <laughs> let alone a little tiny puppy so has a little infection we've got antibiotics we've got loads of medication for him to hopefully help his tummy yeah so that's the video that's my puppy video it's been a hell of a journey Um, I have a lot to say about having a puppy it's 100% harder than anyone ever tells you very rewarding and I wouldn't change it for the world but it's been very very hard and um we're only now just kind of getting into a rhythm of being able to have our own time again like being able to work and I know watch a bit of tv and eat dinner not in the kitchen um I feel like I want to do some blog posts on this and maybe some more videos about it because I feel like after speaking to some people on Instagram I feel like everyone on YouTube Instagram social media that gets a puppy doesn't really talk about how hard it is and how you you basically have a baby it's he's a baby he's like a 10 week 11 week old baby that demands attention from you the only difference is you can't put a nappy on him and he's allowed to walk around so yeah i thought i'd end this vlog now if you want to see more puppy vlogs then let me know in the comments below excuse this today hopefully when i see you next time i'll be a bit more presentable bye guys <laughs>